and even in the competition that we were a part of, that national competition, we were about 16. Um, we got we got a lot of ridicule and like criticism. So it was brutal because all of Jamaica could see us. You know what I mean? Yeah, was it on TV? There, it was on TV, yeah. And we go up, we go up there before out uh, before the whole country every Sunday night and sing, and then people would have things to say because they'd see us in the street. We'd have to come, we'd have to campaign in the street to get votes, right? So they'd see us in the street and they'd have, oh, no, can't sing, and no, sound good. Um, you know, you can't sing, you don't sound good. Um, you're too young to be in the competition. You shouldn't have chosen that song. Oh, I don't like you. You know, so there's a lot of, I faced a lot of that. I call those time. haters. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm definitely way stronger because of it, though. I'm not easily phased by anything that people say. How did you develop your voice? Because you've, I would, I haven't heard those early recordings or that uh, TV show, but I imagine that your voice has evolved over the years. Was there anybody that helped you develop your voice, or how, what steps did you take to pursue? Get better. Yeah, your your instrument. Or your voice, right? Um, thank, thank you for asking. Um, I just kept singing. Um, and that was a huge part of it. I'd just be, you know, because it's it's kind of built in for me. You know how singers are always singing all the time. It's not something that we can necessarily help, or it's not because we want to show off. It's just it's just something that feels it feels really good to sing, you know. And then also it. it it's it's built in. It's a part of you. So you'll always want to be singing. And then, I mean, I, me just singing throughout the competition and 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 um, learning how to harmonize because that's something I I learned on the TV show as well how to harmonize because of my um, group members, and then us trying to be a group after that for maybe a, like a year before you know they had decided that they wanted to go back to school and and you know kind of move back home and so on. I mean, I didn't want to move back home, but we had been trying to make it work for some time. And we'd, we'd always been singing, practicing our sets because we had, you know, one or two shows across Jamaica, actually quite a bit of shows across Jamaica that we'd go and sing at. And um, so for, for, I think like a year, there was just practicing, singing, harmonizing, like getting the, or set, down, you know, like getting the set list um, perfected. And then after that, now when we had decided that, you know, we're, we're all going our separate ways, I just kept singing and I was writing um, my own music and I, you know, and then I'm, and I, and I kind of linked up with an engineer that was in the area at the time who had access to a studio. And I just go up there and like become familiar with how recording, with what recording felt like and I just have I just be covering different songs in the booth and I just be like around the studio and like around recording equipment and just listening to myself, figuring out what sounded good, figuring out what I did that changed like the tone of, you know, like tone of a note or the delivery of a note. Um, so that really helped as well. And I and I did that for some time. And um, I remember at one point as well going onto YouTube and I was following, I don't remember his name. Oh yes, Brett. That's his name, Brett. I was following, I was doing like tutorials, like vocal exercise, exercises that he would give me on, on YouTube. I'd just be, you know, randomly. Uh, randomly I discovered him because I wanted to be even better. So I, I had him be my coach for a little bit. He didn't know though. And um, most recently, I think maybe Two years ago, two and a half years ago, I actually met with a vocal coach in Jamaica. Her name is Ruth Royce. And then I, you know, got better at my technique and just not necessarily just just it kind of improved the delivery of the notes, you know, because there's just ways that you can optimize, there's ways that you can lessen the pressure on your vocal cords, just ways that you can just sing better and it'd be better for your body, easier for you to like expel notes. So that's that's the journey, I believe. Free your music, free your music, free your music, free your music, free your music. You are listening to free your music. You are-